<laughs> okay, no, just turn it off. No, no, no. This is not gonna work. Uh, this is I like the, the no. This the okay. What the fuck? We said it was going to be the Soundbite Machine 2.0, and it looks like you brought me the beta version of Soundbite. Well, is this like the, the, still the developer's kit on it or something? Because I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't is, know where he got it. Seriously, but had like a week to get one of these things. You know, <laughs> I told Christ. I told him to get one, and and uh, and this I, is all no, no. This is all your fault. It's bro. not my fault. This you're the one that kept fault. playing it. This you're, is you're the one that, 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 fault. that took the Soundbite to the uh, max, and I just had, I had to kill it. You I had to pull the plug. You sir. I don't even know how to work this damn thing. There's buttons all over the goddamn place. There's dials. Uh, I don't even look. I don't. I don't even know what the fuck this he, thing is. He said, hey, that, hey, he said that, that his cousin got it pretty cheap. So I mean, I mean, that's what we get. It's like a real. I, it's, what the fuck is this? Like a tape thing? I don't know. It's like what real does this to crank real. Crank do. I don't. This is just <laughs> stupid. What the fuck, man? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just play with it. We'll, were you able to get the stuff on there? Or the, the, I don't know. I don't know. I know I had issues because Maybe. there was some. There was some well, like. No, you're messing with the first left couple on it. hours. What the so, fuck? You know. This thing sucks. It sucks. I'm just uh, saying that. Well, welcome to the Movie Dumb Podcast. Uh, we have a new sound sound machine, sound bite, sound It's not board. really a board. It's sort fuck, of Fuck, a... you've got this at like grandma's yard sale or something like that. <laughs> this thing sucks. I hate this. It's, oh. uh, I it's got it's... this nice little wood grain pattern thing going for <laughs> it. <laughs> There's like fucking like bugs living on the inside guys, of this thing. Guys, 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 would you say that it's and That's a... not a lie, by the way. If you look at this, there's actually wood crane on the side of this damn thing. <laughs> right here. W- would you say that there that this is probably a mystery on how we're No, it's not a mystery. It? We all fucking heard this. <laughs> <last> <laughs> pretty obvious. I, think, I think everybody I'm just trying weird. to segue into what we you know, the movie no, that we watched I mean, this week. I mean, Can we our, please do that? Our what, deaf was listeners this? may be in the dark yeah. about this, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> Did we watch Ben fucked up last week and destroyed the sound by machine? No, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm going to anger management. For oh, that. Just I'm overreacts sorry. to everything. It's like suddenly a little too much. Suddenly, <laughs> oh, well, hey. you know, I, I think maybe we should have just like brought in like an acting troupe and just had them act out the scenes on <laughs> this instead. And this <laughs> printing out the script and have people like read it. Sound by POS. radio theater. <laughs> Fuck. So God. we watched a uh, 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 mystery team. It came out what two thousand nine, two thousand nine, yeah. Which I had never heard of it until um, last week, sometime when you first showed me the trailer, saying, yeah. "This is what I want to watch." Yeah, yeah. I think this was uh, I, I this was just a came out of left field type thing. I have no idea why nobody heard of this or, it, or talked about it from from like the trailer that we watched last time. You know, like before we actually watched the movie this week. Uh, this, from what I saw, this movie could have gone either way. It could have been shitty. Yeah, that could have been good. Kind Luckily, of what I was yeah, too. Yeah. Luckily, it went the right direction. Thankfully, it was good. This was a nice little hidden gem, I think. Yeah. I would, I would yes, call it, it was. Gem. I mean, this it, is like yeah. a this is like a diamond ring showing up in a turd. Oh, oh very clever. Relevant. Yeah. Since that yes. happened in the movie. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> uh, yeah, th- this movie uh, it it has its flaws here and there, and no uh, flaws. Yeah, it does. It does. All right, maybe one it, it it has its flaws here and there, but. Uh, overall, it, this was a pretty uh, interesting and, and very fun movie to watch. I liked it, was, it a lot. It was, yeah. it was very surprisingly solid as far as yes. you know how yeah. it was put together. And this was done by an uh, uh, I want to say acting troupe or comedy uh, a group that started on YouTube. I did, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Well, I, did they remember. do like the mystery team thing? I don't on know. I, I don't also, know or? all the the details. I just quickly uh, skimmed over the Wikipedia page for the movie. And it said that that they start they have a, a YouTube uh, channel and, and that's kind of where they got their roots was on YouTube. Hmm. YouTube YouTube is the new theater. Yeah, yeah Pe- people used to go get their you know their, their start on theater or you know comedy clubs. Now people just go to YouTube, and we have Fred and Mystery Team. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're one of these movies. So is we're one so of we're fifty, is crap. 50 you know fifty percent. <laughs> we're doing okay. Yeah, so we watched Fred, which sucked. Yeah. Which came from YouTube. We watched yeah. Mystery Team, which rocked coming which from YouTube. Came, yeah. And next week we're going to review Epic Meal Time, which is just kind of meh. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're really going to watch that. I don't uh, think they have a movie. I'm pretty sure it'll give you cancer or something. Well, if we like linked them all to all the videos together, you know, oh, probably God. could equal out to about a movie. Yeah. There's a B story in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, why don't we just uh, go on with this? Scott, read the synopsis for this film. Well, it's basically a group of former Encyclopedia Brown-style child detectives struggle to solve an adult mystery. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All right. Sort that, of. that was pretty easy. Encyclopedia <laughs> Brown. I don't know if I've ever heard of 
like that type of description for a group of people <laughs> at all. It's got to be about beyond my time. That's Scott, look it up. <laughs> yeah, Scott, if anybody, I would expect you to understand this, like, because it sounds very country bumpkin almost. No, it doesn't. It does. It kind of does. <laughs> Look, we didn't so. even have an encyclopedia. Yeah. I mean, sections D through, like, X got used as toilet paper. <laughs> that's where all the complex So that's are. where Encyclopedia Brown comes from. Oh, oh, oh that's clever. <laughs> uh, <It's> Boo <laughs> joke. Boo <laughs> joke. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so this movie, it, it's an artist around uh, uh, three friends. Uh, they're kind of the outcasts of, of their high school, and uh, they solve mysteries. They've been doing it since they were seven, and apparently it was cute then, but once they turn 18, it's just kind of pathetic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're, it's they're, almost like a fish out of water type thing. It kind, kind of is. Kind, kind of, of is. Yeah. Like loosely, I guess. It, it, you, you made a good example of this movie when, when we were watching it. It's kind of Ace Venturi. It is. Where sort, it's like yeah, a serious yeah. story. Kind of with just ridiculous people trying to solve this mystery. Yeah, yeah. You have you have the uh, it, well, just like in Ace Ventura, we have this guy that's trying to solve uh, a, is a murder and kidnapping of the dolphin and all that other crazy yeah. shit. Well, here we have we have a knock on wood. You know, when they're on the side of this fucking thing, <laughs> it's, it's, have, it looks like oak or yeah. really old pine. We we have a soundbite explaining exactly the premise of the story, which also is the soundbite that. When I saw this in, in the preview, I'm like, we're watching this. This just... Okay, right now, okay, so. yeah. All right. Here we go. Turn the crank first. <laughs> <laughs> and soundbite. Y te cae una como estas. Ahorita nos platicas. Te pones nervioso como arquero. Y en el responde de este hoy, Miss León. El servicio para ser pasado. ¡Nuevo centro! ¡Gol! ¡Gol! was that man? i told you to <laughs> turn the crank Christ. first what the fuck is there like an english to uh, spanish crank on this guy no it's probably like a switch or something no when, when 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 hector gave it to me he said that there was uh stuff still programmed on there we had to get it off but i don't know how to fucking get it off i don't know, I don't know, this I don't know how to get this shit off it's just, we're just piling more crap on there shit. what the fuck man it's i like, thought i thought we had it labeled right i don't know if this is more advanced or less advanced than the last one just I, this is fucking <laughs> stupid well um i guess okay well that one was 30, try the other side of the board. Try, 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 30, <laughs> Flip it over. I try 32. Know. Try 32. No, no, I mean the other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Try 32. All right. Hi, are you the mystery team? The original and best. I'm Brianna. I have a mystery for you, Saul. Here's a dime. <laughs> what can we do for you, ma'am? Just fill out this form real quick. Mark the box by the appropriate mystery. There's lost kitten, hopscotch dispute, sack lunch fraud. Kids your age are our best customers and also guilty of nearly 100% of the cases we solve. Whatever it is. We can handle it. Can you find out who killed my parents? All right, there we go. It, it worked. Right. It worked. All right. That okay, okay, we got it. <laughs> Thank God we figured that one out. Man, uh, <laughs> you'd think we would work the stuff out before we did the podcast. Well, I <laughs> thought it was all set up. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. like we were driving automatic you know, transmission and just got into a manual transmission. Like, Yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like we went from your cube to Scott's... Uh, Whatever he has. This is jelly bean. My jelly, yeah, my jelly bean car, yeah. <laughs> I, I've driven a Kia Soul, so I'm That's good a to land this airplane. jelly bean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, that was a soundbite that made that sold me on this movie. I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that was definitely, like you said, this was a, a fish out of water type of feel. At the be- at the beginning, you have um, you have these kids that you can tell that they're, they're living in the past. Yeah. They're very uh, immature for their age. Uh almost a, a leave it to beaver type of, of feel yeah. in the modern age and and then like they the get Brady bunch yeah too, yeah it's very sort of, modern well, I mean, shit going on well what was the first the, the, the first case that they got was someone stuck their fingers or someone messed stuck with their finger their, in a pie in yeah. a pie <laughs> in a pie and just the way that they were acting with that was was very uh, uh 60s type of a uh, sitcom uh, mystery solving uh, scenario. Yeah, lots of golly gee willikers. Yeah, that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, and then the kid that actually did the the quote unquote crime. Uh, Holy shit! The mystery team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually have uh, I have a, a soundbite of, of of that little uh, interaction between those two kids. What was the kid's name? I don't know, but you can hit the fucking button because I'm not going through this bullshit again with this goddamn soundboard. <laughs> Yeah, it, well, it's the uh, it's the one where, where they're looking at it and going, oh, there's only one kid that would stick their finger in the pie. and yeah, I don't know. 
I'll play it. Just uh, play it. Hit the button. Um, all right, which one is it? I don't um, know. Shit. You fucking figure it out. Fuck. Turn the dial and then just... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I got this. Hi, my name's Sammy. I'm new to this school. No way I could get some pie around here. Oh, fuck the mystery team. God Holy damn. Crap. <laughs> well, that's like Impressive. one in a million right, one thing Impressive. right there. Impressive. Well, at least uh, Scott can uh, manage to work this properly. Did you, like, read the instruction manual for this? Well, something? it's it's sort of like facing you, so evidently I'm fluent in upside-down Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. So. I don't know. The button just looked right to me. So. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, fuck, shot in the dark. <laughs> and you hit it. Very good. Wow. Very good, sir. Kudos to you. So there you go. Uh, um, little foul mouth little kid there. That well, was that's, funny. That's kind of the... tough. Kinda well, that's the thing about this about this movie. It sort of initially presents itself as like a you know innocent family thing. movie. Yeah, and very and innocent. Then it not. just shifts over to don't Holy let shit. your kids watch this. Ever. Yeah. Oh my god. There, there was absolutely a scene in there where I'm just like, whoa, what the fuck? Where <laughs> yeah. they, they they end up in a strip club like oh. basement. Oh and, yeah. Uh, the Man. the master of disguise busts through the freaking door and, and there's a guy laying on the tables his hand, like legs up in the air and there's a chick, chick. like squirting like breast milk on him. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a chick like, squirting breast milk into his ass while he has like Oh he's just God. like, don't worry about me. I'm not gonna. It's like I promised not to watch. Well, wait, wait. I have that. I have oh, that. Okay, I have that. Right. I have that. Here. Just keep going. I promise I won't watch. I'll pay you to watch. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. You've hmm. got the touch on this one too, I guess. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> ben is masterful in upside down Spanish, also. Yeah. Well, I, I just know. I just remembered some of them that were already labeled. Maybe so. just to go to the other side of the table and then see see if I can read. Them. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a face. Story Whatever now, works, right? man. Whatever yeah. works. But yeah, that that's that was a pretty fucked up scene. I think. I'm oh like, yeah. What the fuck? That was a scene that that. You just would not expect. Oh no, not at all. That's, that's it, like it the last thing. Well, that, whole, like, that, whole, that whole sequence in the strip club it was just one shock moment after yeah. another. Oh, pretty yeah. much, you're just like. Now I, I have to say this: the movie it it started off strong mm-hmm. and and it continued to go strong. But once it got in towards like the middle of the second act to the end of the second act, I started kind of losing it. it, it there was I parts. Agree. There was yeah. parts in there where I'm like. Ugh. Okay. I think they kind of it's like they tried to like actually do the story but the, in doing that they they compromised like the, the all comedy. the funny shit yeah. that they were doing to begin with. Yeah. Although although the very end where he had to sneak into the the party I thought was funny as shit. <laughs> oh yeah yeah that that was that was oh, yeah. funny. That was funny. But there was this there was a nice little chunk in there where it just started getting a little like okay all right this is funny guys but move it along. Come on. Come on. Some yeah, some I of think... these jokes I could have gone without because it's still funny as shit but you get to a moment where it's just overload i think yeah. all the running gags i, I laughed at yeah you know, oh, yeah all, all the, running... the names wrong and yeah shit. oh yeah yeah there was the one guy who was supposed to be the the, the strong one yeah yeah uh he, he always would get... <laughs> he was there afraid was, of his dad the master <laughs> yeah. of the skies the child genius actually here we go and the here strongest we go. guy yeah we have well never mind you already said it master of disguise no, it child... fucking hit it what a master my name's Jason, the master of the sky. Oh, oh, hold on. Well, that was a spectacular <laughs> failure. Sorry, hold on, let me... Do you not crank fast enough on that one? <laughs> no. This thing's fucking dumb. Uh, lo- all right, let me fix this. God, it's like fucking working the TARDIS. <laughs> We're the mystery team. My name's Jason, the master of the sky. I'm Duncan, the boy genius. And I'm Charlie, the strongest kid in town. Ow! Oh, what is wrong with you? Sorry, mm. sorry. So there you go. That, that's that's uh, at slightly normal or speed. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so that that's all three. You have the, uh, the 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 master of disguise, the boy genius, and the strongest kid on around, the block. On the block. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who was kind of a pansy. Yeah, yeah, well, it's like all of them weren't what they were. Like, no. the Master of Disguise had yeah. the piss poorest disguise. Yeah, but they, but it always worked. And it always worked, yeah. It always worked yeah. in, in, in a very awkward way. Yeah. Uh, just he, sort of like, okay, special needs kids coming through. Yeah. Just let them go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Right away. <laughs> and then you had the, the, uh, the um, uh, boy genius who he just was reciting things that he read out of a, like... A you know, useless fact. facts yeah. 
to yeah. know type of book. It's a the, thousand it's, yeah. silly facts. It's the person. It's the type of person that you know has no social life, and they read those things and and memorize it just so they could kind of feel important, make themselves feel you know seem cool yeah. and smart when they're at parties. <laughs> but honestly, everyone just tries to stay <laughs> they're like from you're them. annoying. Go yeah, away. Like, who, the, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Actually, the capital of Roanoke is I don't know whatever. <laughs> Somebody didn't read their fact book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, that makes up the uh, mystery team. And uh, they go to solve a murder. a, uh, a An actual serious an mystery. An actual serious mystery. Which uh, leads them down a very dark path. Yeah. Stuff that they're not used to. Considering most of their stuff was like, you know, who stole so-and-so's bike or something like yeah, that. Where's lost the, kitten. Yeah, lost, lost kitten. kitten yeah, lost kitten. Yeah. And, you know, things like that. You know, very, very childish types type of stuff. And honestly, I think um, I kind of got this. I don't know if they meant to do this. I, I might be looking deeper into the whole storyline. But <laughs> it it coincides with, you know, they're used to childish things, things that really didn't matter. And, you know, and then to go into something that's, you know, more big world-esque and something that's, like, actually serious. Right. And that goes along with them, you know, Growing up, getting out of high school, moving on to the real, real world, you know, all of them splitting up and going off into to college. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it's funny, like, you know, there of... is uh, kind of like a growth thing, I think. Like, especially there, there's the one scene where they're, um, they're, they ask for, like, chocolate milk from Robert, I guess, was the guy. Yeah. And he's like, so what's the deal with you guys? Like, well... <laughs> We like chocolate milk. I kind of uh, feel like we should taste good. <laughs> I kind of feel like we should be drinking chocolate milk right now. I was chocolate thinking milk is good. I was yeah. thinking that it's better than regular milk. Yeah. How about the, through the? Uh, well, you just want to play a soundbite right now? So no, I'm not some, touching this damn thing. I'll just play a random soundbite. So I can I'll, do I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's see which one is zeny meeny miny. Just press here. Go. Twenty first century detectives. This is a book about being a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Someone stole that guy's face! <laughs> the Somerville Slasher. They made a really bad movie about him. Oh, I see you're reopening the case. No, I used to want to be a forensic pathologist. Oh! Oh, that's like a baby doctor, right? No, it's like a detective, but with science. Oh, neato. Why'd you stop? I don't know. I grew out of it. It was stupid. Hey, following your dreams is never stupid. Unless you dream about water and then you pee the bed last Thursday. What? For example. Um... <sighs> ah, oh. chocolatey deliciousness. You're right. This is delicious. <laughs> it is. Oh, man. I think that mystery team's got something going for him. Yeah. yeah. Now we just need to start figuring out who wrote sex on the tree outside my window there. <laughs> Someone gonna... actually did. Spray paint the word sex on a tree outside my window. Kind of weird. All I know is I'm going to sell my car and get my bike back. That was another thing. It was a nice little gag at the beginning where, um, um, what was <laughs> yeah. what's the, what's the actual, the kid's name? Uh, if I heard it, I'd remember. Jason? No. I can't remember. No, Jason. Jason. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wait. Yes. No, so did the principal's right. office. <laughs> Uh, where Jason goes uh, downstairs to his, his to his dad, he's get, uh, leaving for uh, school. school, and asks his dad, "He's like, Dad, can I get the car keys?" Dad tosses him the car keys. Kid goes outside, goes to the car, unlocks it, goes to the back, pulls out a bike, and rides the bike off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This movie is just full of little stuff like was, that. Yeah, you know? little was, things like that. It was yeah. like unexpected things that they'd say, unexpected things that they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they went to strip club and everything was unexpected. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I really yeah. think it was almost like up until the strip club, like it was funny, funny, funny. Like that was the climax of the funniness, and yep. then it just kind of it was still good for the rest of the movie, but it yeah. kind of went like yep. that was the, the that was it for me. Well, you can't take you can't take one of the, one of the biggest gags that you have in the movie, put it smack dab like in the first. 20 minutes or so of the film and then expect you know people to still have the same appreciation and laughter later on because now everyone's thinking back to that one scene in the strip club even though that scene did kind of quote unquote kind of i don't know why i quoted that mm -hmm. uh um i just wanted to do something with Some my fingers air quotes here that nobody i just wanted to do see. air quotes but no one out there could <laughs> now, now everyone knows i did it i'm a fucking moron um, but <laughs> it kind of set up a scene later on where they go into a, they break into the, the manager's office at the lumber, uh, lumber yard 
and they're like, wait a minute, you're the guy from the strip club. Yep. yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, although that did have a funny ass gag where he's like, hey, you're the guy that likes milk in his ass. And yeah, and he <laughs> says it right as the, the strongest kid is yeah, drinking his strong, milk. Yeah, the strongest kid found milk in the guy's refrigerator and starts drinking it. He's like, hey, you're the guy that likes milk in his ass. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit, this, this, this had one of the funniest, well, funnier puking moments I, I've seen in this. Just the consistency of the puke, I think. Yeah. And, and yeah. Hanging off of his mouth as the camera pans around. And he's just sitting, standing there, and it's just, like, dripping off him. He's looking so pathetic. <laughs> What's really funny is this movie had a lot of gags that were kind of up our alley. Yeah. We, we did, we really did a, uh, in film school, we had to do a, a final project, a, a short film. And there was a lot of gags in the movie that were kind of like this in, in some form. Uh, especially the, the the puke scene, yeah, yeah, and uh, and strip club scene, yeah. In fact, this movie was surprisingly similar to our movie. Just in a way, in a way, it, 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 it had the very basic plot down, yeah, and it had some of the and it had one of the same scenes. I'm just saying, if this one had a moose in it too. If the, oh, yeah, yeah, this like, one had oh, a freaking oh, yeah, moose in it. If this one had an underground moose fighting ring, yeah, that'd have been awesome. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it. it this is, watching Mystery Team was the type like seeing this was like oh man we would have ended up writing this movie if we actually spent three months writing the script instead yeah, of, you know yeah. playing Madden <laughs> <laughs> then writing the script in the yeah last if, if we didn't go to the bar you know close oh, every yeah. single place down oh. and then go home and like all right let's write yeah. um, <laughs> back in the yesteryears yeah. back when we were cooler yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like I think this is probably something that that we could have pumped out if we didn't have the constraints of uh of teachers or producers saying no nah, predefined let's, ratings let's not do that we can't we can't have a midget and vat of blue cheese in the corner spanking a donkey for no reason that just that just yeah, we can't have that i don't remember that being in the script then uh, i you know do. me either but uh <laughs> maybe I'm sure i don't know so back to this film yeah back um, to this one <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's a lot of uh kind of like saturday night live alumni Showing up in it. Well, maybe not a whole lot of Saturday Night Live. Like, I saw, there was the a same lot, kind of. There, there, there was a lot of people in that niche group of, uh, uh, from you know SNL and uh, uh, The Office, Parks Recreation, and and Thirty Rock. That whole that whole group yeah. of people. Yeah. There was a lot of them in there, and and I notably like the guy who ran the uh, sort of grocery store. Yeah, the guy store, that the guy of. that ran the, the the grocery store. He was from uh, SNL. Uh, the bouncer from the strip club was from uh, Thirty Rock. And uh, and the main chick, uh, Callie or, or Kaylee or Kay, 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 Kaylee, Kaylee, yeah, Kaylee. Um, she was she's in Parks and Recreation. So, yeah, there, I mean, there's a lot of a uh, 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 pretty recognizable people. If you're if you like that's if you, you know if you watch those shows, I'm, I'm recognizable yeah. if you watch those shows. Re- well, I, yeah, say, right? I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. If if you watched, uh, but. Fuck, I don't know. Hey, you guys want to get dry fucked? No, we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Well, Ooh, that the was fuck, strange. Man. Ooh, uh, yeah. I think okay. Wait, you know that old saying, look before you leap? <laughs> Guess what Ben didn't do? <laughs> uh, well, all right, I'm making an admission to clear this fucking soundboard off after the end of the show. <laughs> Take a fucking this... magnet to it, man. Oh, man. This is not I good. We're, gotta uh, find something better than this. We got, yeah, this is, this is not gonna work out. I might just end up smashing this one at the end of this <laughs> game podcast. I don't know. You need to call Hector and be like, dude, never again. Don't get shit from your cousin, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't I, know. I know you could think you think you got it for cheap, but... I thought on. we laid him off like four weeks ago, but... He, no. comes, he keeps coming. Uh, he's, he's like Milton in Office Space. He just keeps coming back. We're just like, dude, we're not paying you, and he's like... I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> you guys got the tortillas in the kitchen, though. <laughs> he doesn't talk like that. You let me clean for a little bit. Oh, eat. come on. I guys. think all of us, right. whenever we try and do an Hector accent, it's like from we a just, different region. No, he just goes straight. He's like, guys, I'm... Don't, I'm, I'm from Port Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't even know well, where we talk about Hector. We're just like, hello, my name is Hector. <laughs> just know that he's from like the south side. He's probably from Miami. I don't know. Something like that. Probably. I, know, I just know he's from Florida, but from the southern part of Florida. <laughs> don't we really care about the interns? Or yeah. Yep. Yeah. We need to get a new one. <laughs> Maybe a girl this time. Maybe. Uh, sorry, Hector. You're you're fired. <laughs> Talk about the movie. All right. <laughs> well, we can relate this. Speaking of girls, there was, you know, a love interest in this there movie. There was a love slowly interest. Slowly developed, mostly yeah. on one side. 
yeah. throughout this movie. Well, it, it, the character went. J, the character of Jason went from uh, at the beginning going, "Ew, girls, gross, ah, yeah, cooties," to, "I want to poke her in the eye." Because remember, they're oh yeah, they did the little they like, did the finger whole, and hole thing. yeah yeah <laughs> they're, 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 like oh yeah, yeah poke her in the eye yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were very naive. Oh, yeah. Super oh, yeah. naive. Very, yep. very naive. There's a whole lot of... Just... Well, the scene where they try and buy buy an eight ball. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have that sound. Do like. we need it? Yeah. Oh, I'll just play. Oh, I, well, let me try You this. do it since you're the one that's having yeah. Dude, I'm slot. like, what? Two for three? Or two for two? Or I think you've only hit it once. Three for three? Or five for nine? Just or... hit the damn thing. It, okay. Let's see. Uh, This one looks good. You guys cops? Nope. Just regular high school students looking to buy some cocaine on a Saturday night. Good. It's going to be 200 for an eight ball. Do we need eight? You know, let's treat ourselves. You're right. Let's get eight balls. Yeah, looks like we've got a long night of cocaine ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids and their drugs. <laughs> yeah. So when was the last time you guys did an eight ball? I just learned what it is um, during this movie. So <sighs> I, I actually try to do at least one of those before I do the it sort of gets me through the <laughs> shitty movies. Wakes me up. Wakes, <laughs> Wakes me up. Me up. <laughs> oh, uh, drugs. I remember the first time as a kid hearing the reference of eight ball. And I'm like, how do so? How, how do you, you digest a billiards ball? Yeah. <laughs> like, how does that get you high? <laughs> like sitting there trying to lick it like it's a toad or something. <laughs> like, I, I don't know I how don't. this works. You smash it against your head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I really didn't do that. I just remember throwing the drug references around school because you're like, hey, I'm cool. I'm just like the eighth grader. Oh. <laughs> so talk about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're really not talking about the movie. Well, right this is, I think this is the hardest thing that we have whenever we have a good movie. Like, it's hard to find stuff to bitch about because there's yeah, so much yeah. good stuff. If you, yeah, if you so. look at like our track record, it's like when we get something good, our, it's like it's harder to talk about. Where if we get something that's just ungodly or, well here we go let's start talking about the good the good aspects of it all right let's start talking about that uh it um they had a lot of good camera work i think yeah, like, yeah they did a lot of camera cool work, motions yeah the camera work was, i would was like to know what they filmed for this. this on like it, it was a pretty good camera it was yeah. probably like a g2r yeah I don't know. <laughs> uh, um yeah it was it was shot it was shot rather well the writing was great writing oh, yeah. was was really good um there's still some spots in there that i would have i would have cut out for how stupid this movie was, it, it was put so, so well, well together. Yeah, it, it was yeah. it was really shocking because the I mean like it really does when you watch this you're just you sit there and you're like this is stupid and but it the actually, gags yeah. are so good and <laughs> and with it being you know it's called mystery team so you had to have a mystery in there and that was the element that I was kind of concerned about I thought it was going to be a very stupid type of twist yep. Uh, I kind of figured it out at a certain point just because, you know, yeah. after, after we do this so much, you're like, okay, I kind of yeah. have an idea of yeah. who it's going to be. It's that, you know, it's that type of character, you know, you never expect it and they're always there helping you out. I, okay. I thought they were going to go like an almost like super darker route and have it that like um, the the chick that Jason loved was the, the, uh, the, the person that murdered their parents. Now, that would have been an interesting. So, so the right daughter there. killed the parents yeah. type of thing. I could see yeah. that. That'd be so you kind of like, oh well we kept moving every and that's nine why, months. I didn't want to move anymore. Yeah, and that's why she didn't and she didn't want him to go or continue the investigation. Type yeah. Thing. I, I could have yeah, okay, that would have yeah, been, that been pretty good yeah. too. I, there was a small point where I kind of thought that but later on I'm like, who is this Roger guy that keeps popping up? <laughs> You're like, oh, he's just some guy. He's just some guy. Hey, you guys like this? Really was a movie where I, they're like, I, I wouldn't be surprised by anything they threw out of there because it was so just like they, yeah, they were writing on another level almost. Yeah. Like it's, you know, you, they, they, no matter the movie is so good where it's at. Like they can go the conventional route or the route you expect and go, oh, that's brilliant, or they can go the route you totally didn't expect and go. That was brilliant. So. Yeah, and and it's just the mixture of how you could go from you know something dark and, and serious as, as this mystery and the murder and the, and the plot behind you know all the union workers of this and that blah, blah 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 to hey I'm gonna go help my friend over here poo in a punch bowl yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in the same sentence you could go from that to boom that yeah it's well, just, it was really amazing how they were able to make that work. And make it work throughout the whole entire movie. Well, yeah. it, was just, it was just, you know, they, they sort of had a formula of, like, 
taking something serious and then right when they finish talking about it just inject something that just made no sense compared to oh, that. yeah. That's, oh yeah that's sort of how like every you know plot point conversation sort of went in this yeah it was um which is a good formula <laughs> yeah if you can pull it off like these guys did and and the thing that i that i really uh, enjoyed in it was you're looking at it in a way that these kids look at real life the way that that little kids would probably yeah. perceive it, uh, you know, with the whole gentleman's club. Right, yeah. right. They're like, oh, there's gentleman's club. Everyone yeah. knows that that's a strip Ew, club. Why do we want to see yeah. naked? <laughs> yeah, it, it's a it's a strip club, you know. But as a little kid, you're probably you know they'll probably see that and say, oh, gentleman's club. There's a lot of like pompous type of people. Super funny fucking. Shit. Oh, oh hell yeah, yeah. super around. funny scene. Like, oh, it's a gentleman's club. So yeah, so they show like, up. Guys, they got show money. Up. Yes, we got plenty of currency. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like dressed to the nines, wearing oh, you know, yeah. the, like the, the monopoly man, tails. you know, yeah. super top hat. Oh yeah, you know? overly done top hat. <laughs> that that was that was something I sort of liked. Was every time I that they changed top hat, every time that they changed costumes, it just sort of like came out of thin air. Yeah, and yes. they never explained why how they had all these costumes with them. Yes, you know? yeah. like you could be like, okay, you or... know, you know what it's <laughs> it, it's it's little rascals meets Ace Ventura. Yeah, with a little is. bit of Scooby Doo thrown. With a little bit of Scooby Doo yeah. thrown yeah. into it. Yeah, with <laughs> I, I would, I would say that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It's just off the wall comedic genius mixed with a, a, a pretty decent uh, yeah. a mystery in it. Funny shit. Very, very, funny, very shit. funny shit. Um, I just feel like we should play a soundbite because I, I'm I, afraid of this board, man. I don't want to hit anything. I wrote down so I'll many do different again, ones yeah. that we needed to pull. I know that we pulled them. I know that they're on there. I'm just. I'm, well, I'm one, in the same which, boat as you. I'm well, just afraid to take it. Well, which it. one do you want to go and play next? And I'll just, you know, use I, honestly, my magic upside down Spanish. Skills. Honestly, it's just a shot in the dark. If even if we get one, let alone the one that we want, so just fucking. <laughs> so spin the roulette wheel. It just yeah, just you know, <laughs> hit a button. Come on, come on. Just, okay, all right. Do it. Meeny, meeny, right there. What the hell is going on here? Oh, boys, boys, what are you doing in here? I am so sorry. These are my sons, Benny and the Jets. I expected this from you, Benny, but the Jets. <sighs> I like this soundboard. It agrees with me. <laughs> that, that was a funny ass soundbite too. That and was that was really right at the one. beginning too. Oh, that, yeah. that was right off the off the bat. They really did well in the beginning, where like the first you know a couple minutes was them you know solving a crime basically yeah, you get yeah. well you, you by sort of establishing just, yeah. yeah well th- that that beginning sequence it played later on into it as they were already in the middle of trying to solve the murder like that was supposed to be a a guy that they thought was a murder and and all of their suspects that they had were you know all was, cliche you know? All cli- yeah they're all yeah. cliche it's like old oh. man mccritchin or something <laughs> yeah yeah the, the grumpy old man that doesn't like kids running on his yard <laughs> yeah it it it, it t- <laughs> their suspect pool was very interesting oh yeah and, yeah because and that and since they're trying to solve a, a murder I and mean, everyone that's in their suspect pool i mean it, it's not going to be the guy but they're sitting there going through like huh yeah I, who would have it's like the schoolyard bully yeah and they're trying to like justify why the bully would kill the parents <laughs> and yeah it was pretty interesting I, th- I think one of my favorite things about this movie was how they looked for evidence Every time they look for evidence, they just tear the crap out. Of it. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. just hold their big magnifying glass to their face and just start tearing the shit just out of throwing them out of papers things. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, that was pretty funny. So there was a lot of funny shit in there, man. It really them was. Them getting uh, kidnapped and yeah, <laughs> throwing the chick out the side of a van and like she yeah, the, breaks her neck. The You're drug like, dealer what? has a van with no door. What the so, fuck? Oh, I, I, I this was a good soundbite for me. I think your name is Toby. I want to hear you say it. What's your name? Kunta. Kunta Kinte. What the fuck? What we are the... going to have to have a talk with Hector. Oh about my God. What he's doing. What the fuck did is this? Did this was this off? owned to, like, you know, a previous, like, podcast? You know, people that reviewed. You, you know, know, I kind of feel like. Politically. <laughs> you know. It what kind of fuck? it kind of feels like like Hector knows that we were gonna get rid of him. He's like, you know what? I'd fuck with you guys. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, man! God damn it! All really? right, so that was not uh, well. That's a funny soundbite, but just isn't it? Well, it's not, not a, it's yeah. not relevant. <laughs> it's not a funny soundbite. What are you touching? Come a, on, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing from Roots is funny ever, so, ever. Oh man! I'm gonna hit another uh, button. Maybe, maybe a little. 
I'm gonna hit a button and see. And if that's why the right forge one. is blind. Scott hit a button. Oh. Okay, all right. Uh, this one. Where's the other one? Oh, that guy. We didn't know that guy. We thought you knew that guy, so we should probably just go then. You guys trying to fuck me? What? He said, "Do you guys want to fuck me?" No, that ain't what I said. Guys, we can never get rid of the soundboard ever. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. That was a good sound. That was a soundboard I wanted. Seriously, uh, I thought that a was a skill. I I thought that was. A I guess I guess an alt off tilt uh, off kilter soundboard for off kilter person. Sure, that was not that. Anyway, that was a funny soundbite. I like that soundbite. I don't know. I thought I thought that was a funny part of. It. There was that a lot was, of funny oh, parts. Well, it's again, hard to, like, you know, it's just the writing. It was just amazing in this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was. I have another funny one I want to play. Okay. Actually, it's really not a funny one. It was, uh, yeah, it is kind of a funny one. It's right after they grabbed the first kid off the uh, playground. Uh, I don't, well, do I, uh, just play it. I don't yeah, know if yeah. I remember it. Yeah. Are you sexy naked? Have you ever played with yourself? You gonna put my in your mouth? Damn, I like Because I like dirty. that, I'll teach you. <laughs> okay, uh, I definitely don't remember that. Alrighty, the then. then. As strange uh, as it is, that actually is kind of close to what the soundbite was. Okay. So, um, all right, that was 14, so um, hopefully 15. All right, here it goes. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> of course you got your motherfucker, you 18. If any teachers ask where Eric went, tell him three grown-ups took him off the playground to teach him a lesson about sticking his finger in things. <laughs> okay, I do remember that one now. That, that Surprisingly was relevant of... to the last sound. Yeah, it was. So, huh. It's kind of weird. Huh. I don't know who the fuck programmed this soundboard before we got it. Uh, but honestly, uh, come weird. on, people. Weird. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. Only we could throw together crazy, ridiculous soundboards. It's like bites. we restored from some fucked up backup of like, yeah. what we were using before. Yeah. Yeah. It's like bizarro movie dump podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's radio dump. Radio I don't dump. I don't know. Radio, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, um, fuck. I don't know. That's about it for this movie, I think. There's a lot it's... more, there's a lot more sound bites, but I'm just really terrified to press well, it. Well, this, I mean, this whole movie was just riddled with really, you know, good stuff to, you know, I guess good sound bite material, I yeah. suppose, if you want to say it. Like, constantly. <laughs> I think Ben found a funny one he wants to play. Yeah, yeah, there's one. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to play it. I'm just playing. I'm not okay. saying it up. I'm just playing it. Right. Here you go. Who's your lucky lady? Oh, that's no one. Son. This is a girl named Kelly. Oh, Kelly Billy. Shut up, Frank. This is why your marriage is such a mess. She's really something. It's just, I'm... I'm no good with girls. Oh, you're wit. Frank. Sometimes I wish you didn't beat that cancer. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny one. That was from. This that movie, probably yeah. was the that best. That was the best sound bite. That was just a ra- that was so random. There again, that's another example of a uh, of uh, Jason and and this guy from the office party. They were having a serious, con- well, technically a kind of serious uh, conversation. About you know, just don't let your life pass before your eyes. Go and do what you want to do. Yeah. You know, don't let things just you know go off to the side. And then right after having this like heart filled speech, turns around, and here's this buddy Frank that comes over and starts making a complete ass of himself, <laughs> and then he just spews that off. I, that, that's just <laughs> comedic genius. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> funny stuff, great. man. Yeah. Yeah. There's oh, a lot. Man. Yeah. And yeah. Frank just sort of like turns around, and walks away, all sorts of dejected looking. Yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> what was he dressed like? He was. It was, it was like, like a turtle or something. It was like a turtle, like a turtle or a dinosaur, or a dinosaur or something. Or some type of reptile. <laughs> oh god, his thesis statement in there. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this one. Gonna risk it. Go. Gonna yep. risk it. Sorry, I'm late, everybody. My science teacher says my thesis needs to prove something, but I think listing all the dinosaurs proves there was a lot of dinosaurs. That's a sound <laughs> thesis to me. I don't Sounds know. like it. All you do is just name off a whole bunch of dinosaurs. <laughs> proves that there's a lot of dinosaurs. That guy seemed very uh, Napoleon Dynamite to me. Almost. Kind of. Yeah. Almost. yeah. There's a lot he of. He sort of had the look, like. Vaguely. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was like a a, a more book smart nerd uh versus uh unicorns and liger or whatever yeah the creatures yeah, something nerds yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah he was a very uh napoleon dynamite-esque i, I was waiting for him to at one point just go gosh <laughs> 
Like they, well, they all have their like weird sayings, like "Oh, thumb sucker." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and sticks yeah. Until, until he gets to like the end Cinnamon of act. Sticks. Until he gets to the end of act two, where they're, <laughs> they're having their their fight, and the one friend or the the, the nerd is like, "Fuck, <laughs> that's what? right." Wait, I'm I got it. Let's just play yeah, it. Let's just play it because when we do it, it's not as funny. Wait, no. wait. I'm gonna hit the button, please, Scott. You because do it. I just don't have this chance often. <laughs> Ah, oh, cinnamon sticks. Ah, oh, Chinese checkers. Fuck! <gasps> yeah, that's right. I've been saying fuck. Going in the backyard and trying it out. It's pretty great. Yeah, that fuck. was that fuck. was that was sort of like you know where the where the uh, I guess the uh, kids. The eighteen-year-old kids were sort of maturing, sort of around. In a way, yeah, they were kind of noticing. They're like, "Hey, this is kind of being good. introduced to adult situations." <laughs> well, like, like he said, "Fucking!" Like the other two were like, <gasps> <laughs> "What you say?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, that's like it's like being in elementary school, and being the first kid to say like "ass" or something, shit, or, or yeah. "fuck," and everyone's like, <gasps> "Shit, fuck!" Ooh, I'm shit. telling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then later on in the movie. uh Jason gets shot, uh, yeah. uh, and, <laughs> and just random throwing that out there. Jason gets shot, uh, and he and works this out. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, here. Um, Boop. Oh, this really hurts. Oh fuck. Oh, that's fun to say, right? That's fun. Yeah, that's really fun. You were right. So there you go. Yep. Yep. The only one that didn't say fuck, to my knowledge, I don't remember. He said it was the uh, the strongest strong, kid on the block. Strongest yeah. kid on the block. I don't think I, I, I heard who he finally uh, he finally took down the bad guy. He tackled the bad guy. Yeah. Started <laughs> punching him. He's like, <laughs> "Hey, I'm actually punching someone." Yeah. And, and then he, he got hit with a two by four and hit someone. Yeah, he gets knocked <laughs> out. Like, oh, yeah. And that brings us to the end of the movie. Kind of. I mean, yeah, we jumped all much. over the place. Um, and yeah, I mean, really have. Nope. It really, you know, this yeah. is one of those rare movies. I think that you should just go out and watch. It you know, is. We and, cannot do this movie justice. I, th- in I think. Review. I mean, we might have said some stuff here and there that kind of they're so spoiled it's, it. Yeah, it's but, still funny shit. There's still a lot yeah, of funny go, things that we didn't talk about. Go, go and watch it. It's definitely funny. We yeah. really didn't give. I hope, hopefully, we didn't give away everything that that kind of gives to the mystery of it. Which, there's still a lot. Of stuff. Yeah, there's yeah, still a lot of stuff good. in there. But um just yeah. for the visual gags themselves. Yeah. Oh, just hell go yeah. For it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering if we should put stuff on YouTube for this or not. I just, don't know. I just out of common courtesy because I mean people that did do this started on YouTube. I'm pretty sure they're going to have stuff on there for probably. Them. Maybe we'll link to them. Yeah, 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 it just depends if we can find them or not. So. Yeah. yeah, if anything, we'll probably link to them, or we might just go the whole Fred route and put it up ourselves anyways. Have them say, no, you can't fucking use her. Nah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's all right. Yeah, it's, it's on all the right. internet anyway. Right. Yeah, Nobody yeah. cares. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's Fred. We're making a sequel. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they kind of left it for it. a sequel at the end of this movie. So that's... Wait a minute. Were you saying they're making a sequel to Fred? Yeah. We talked about that in the podcast. I try to put that out of my mind. Yeah. Shit. I, I would make a sequel to this. They I left it open for a Yeah, sequel. they did leave it a open really for a really awesome sequel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty awesome. We're not going <laughs> to tell you what that was. You have to go watch the movie and yeah. see what it was. But let's just say it was very epic. Yeah. The guy kind of looked like Zach Galifianakis a little bit. Yeah, a, little a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> um, all right. So are we ready to uh, wrap this up? Wrap it up. Yeah, sure. It's wrapped up. Yep. Um, so someone go first. Then you go first. You never go first. Yeah. I never go first. It's for it's for a reason. House rules. House goes last. You go first. Doesn't sound like good rule, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um, oh shit! I don't know what to say. Um, this is why you never go first. Yeah. You can't ever think of this shit. You're just like, <laughs> oh, I agree. <laughs> That's it. I concur. I agree. It's a four. What Ben said. <laughs> yeah. I concur. No, right. uh, th- this movie. It's um, like we've already said. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I thought I'd go crazy, first because you're, you're just mode. fucking on everything. I don't right. know what I don't know. All right, so um. so it's it, it's a comedy. Uh, I really enjoyed it. it. It was it was a really interesting film, something that I I never expected, um, especially to come out of out of uh, a, a, a troop off of YouTube. <laughs> uh, it 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 had its it had its ups and downs. It. It, there was parts in there that that I would probably cut out, and there were a section. There was a section in there where I did have to stop it and kind of see where the hell we were in time wise, because I'm like, all right, this is dragging out. It has to be kind of close to the end, hopefully. 
uh, but it other, was. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. It was another thirty minutes into it. Yeah, but um, so other, one being the best thing of all that, time, ten being the worst. What would you give it? Um, <sighs> or one being a very entertaining film, ten being the worst entertaining. We got to get into that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, but so this best film, worst film shit. Yeah, it's not best. Yeah, it's really not best film, worst film. It's what's entertaining, what's yeah. not yeah, yeah. entertaining. Yeah. Um, I would, I would give this a. Four. Yeah, I'd give this a four. Uh, it's right on the on the other side of being entertaining, but I mean, there's still some parts in there that were n- kind of dragged out and weren't really that entertaining. Now, will it be as entertaining if I want to see it a second time? That's the question. I think there's like Maybe. a lot of rewatch value in this because I, I think I, I think there's probably a lot of stuff we missed watching. Yeah, it. yeah. watch it the second time we'll catch a lot more. Yeah, like I, I'll, I'll I'll be honest. The uh, when they found the second body, I guess in in the lumber yard. Yeah, I didn't even see that. I didn't even know who it was that they found. I was <laughs> playing Tiny Towers. <laughs> I well, uh, I was checking it. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, I just got to that point where I'm like, oh, all right, you missed some funny shit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, so what happened at that part? No, you just yeah, gotta go back. I'll and just have to watch it again. It again. Yeah. Okay, I guess I will. So yeah, I give it a four. All right. All right. Um, I think I, I I might be a little bit partial because I found this movie, and you know I think when you find these like little gems, you, it's kind of like your movie at that point. Like it's your own little baby that you brought and raised, and, and, <laughs> and it's a baby that you found on the side of the road, and you're trying to make it your own. Yeah. Yeah. This was, uh, I found this movie really super entertaining. It was really funny. Um, It was shot really well. Um, Sound was good. I don't, there just wasn't very much to complain about, in my opinion. Um, Ben found some shit. That's why no one likes him. (laughs) I didn't find, I I, I wouldn't say it was shit. I mean, every movie's gonna have that that little moment where you're like, okay, come on. Um, I am gonna give this, uh, one being the best, ten being worse. I'm gonna give this a very solid two. Giving it a two? Yeah. Oh, two. Nice. Maybe a 1.5. I'll say, I'll say right. two, though. Two? Right. Two. Sounds fair. Uh, yeah, I, like, I'm with you guys. Like, this this movie surprised me. I was, like I said, you know, at the beginning of this podcast, uh, it could have really gone either way. It could have sucked balls or it could have been awesome. Well, I think that's, like, all of our movies. Yeah, no, well, well, there's, well, some, there, there's a lot. Yeah. You're, you're acting like a weatherman yeah. right here. It could either rain or it can't. I don't know. <laughs> It's going to be partly cloudy with a chance of sun. <laughs> but no, this was obviously bad. Yeah, yeah. butt crack yeah. I knew was going to be bad. Special dead, obviously Special this, dead. this movie, just watching for... Because I only watched the trailer. I didn't watch anything else prior to this. It, it really looked like it could have just been awful or good. Yeah. And it, this, yeah. Luckily, this one went good. And it surprised me. And it was a nice surprise, which is rare here. Most of the time, it's just crap. But, you know, anyway... Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. The writing was solid. The gags were solid. Mm-hmm. It uh, it actually had a pretty good, you know, it had a good plot. Didn't slow down, you know, too much, except like maybe in a little couple of parts. But you know, just can't help that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this a solid three. Wow, I'm the hard ass on this one. Yeah, yeah seriously, <laughs> I'm usually not the hard ass. Yeah, <laughs> it's usually you, Nick. And, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. In cases. I yeah. think it just all depends on whatever movie. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, all varying opinions on stuff. Yeah. We yeah. agree. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. Because you're dumb. Asshole. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> is this more because I didn't agree with you on the film? No, it's because you because fucking I... ruined the soundboard okay, last that's week. Right. <laughs> that's what I thought. I got this and POS we well, shitball thing. Well, what are you gotta... doing tomorrow? You want to go and try to find another one? Yeah, we can go to the well. markets, you know. <laughs> I think that's our problem with this one right here. <laughs> we'll head out to Sam Ash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. you need to fi- yeah, we need to find a better uh, soundboard. Yeah. Uh, great. Yeah. <laughs> right yeah. off. Yeah, I sort of yeah, like the wood much. grain on the side, though. It's sort of you it's know, very got that very 70s, 70s vibe, yeah. you know. It's, okay, back when stereos were stereos <laughs> and weighed hundreds. Oh, no, stereotronic, anamorphic, <laughs> soundboardatron, <laughs> uh, high fidelity. Well, is that it? Yep, that's yeah, it. That's uh, pretty much it. Scott, it's your pick for next week. Oh, so yes. What are we watching? Well, you know that next month is August, right? And I'm trying to you know get back into <laughs> the holiday. Well, yeah, it's August. There's and holidays in August. And if you yes, well, there is a couple. There's one that's actually uh, very substantial to the uh, movie monster genre, and it's August thirtieth. Can you guess what movie monster this day would be celebrating? I hope it's Godzilla. No, no. I I have no clue. It's 
Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Oh, oh. oh shit. That's right. It's next month. There and you know can what's... be some lot of bad oh, oh, shit oh, coming oh, yeah. out. Well, 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 you know, you I, know what's I, also coming out. Real I have soon. something in the back of my head, and I really hope you're not going to go that route. But I don't carry think on. you got what I got. So you know what's also coming out pretty pretty <laughs> soon here. The uh, what was it? Cowboys and Aliens. Yeah, yeah. they're coming out pretty soon. Well, I when have something. Out? No, it's I not have right. something that is relevant to both of those. Okay. Well, Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter. Okay, I did not have that in the back of my head. I it never even the heard of that. It classic movie monsters with a western. Where the fucking hell did you find that? My butt. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something you pull out of there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so going back to the holidays, we're gonna celebrate. You know, well, there you go, Frankenstein, like it was meant to be celebrated. There you go. So Jesse James meets Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's daughter. daughter. I didn't yep. know he reproduced. Yep. So there you <laughs> go. Um, anything else? Do we have any emails? Uh, uh, we do. We do. We did get an email, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, um, we got mail. But unfortunately, I can't pull it up on the soundbite machine, so. You know, it's you can never pull it up on the soundbite machine. What the? Yeah, it's a soundbite machine. Um, <laughs> it's but we do. Teleprompter. We actually do. We have an email. Especially good thing you call this it soundbite machine. <laughs> I always forget about the emails that we have, so um, I'm going to grab get the, dra- the grab bag. Do we have soundbite? Uh, um, do we have a... Email music on on this thing. We uh, did well, on the mean, old one, but I don't know if we have any on this. Uh, let me see if we have any. Um, hit the email button. I don't know. See what happens. There is no email button on this uh, one. Well, whatever. The, I'm going to turn it. this knob. Okay, it's All on right. zero. We're putting up two, four. four. All right. That was the reverb. Okay. <laughs> this button then. <laughs> All right. There. Yeah, there. Whoa. That's. Kind of appropriate, maybe. maybe. I don't know. If Look, I don't, don't want to test. I don't want to push my luck anymore on this thing. <laughs> this is something I, I expect. Like Ron Jeremy to come into the room right now. <laughs> come on, let's read this and get it over. All with. right. So this is from a Seth. Up there. All right. He said, um, <laughs> "I listened to your podcast about Judge Dredd, and Nick mentioned that a robot reboot, robot, whatever." I can't spell was in the works this is true (laughs) the film is titled Dread set to come out this December and is starring Carl Urban as Judge Dread Uh, I'm surprised that neither Scott or Ben knew about this seeing as they're both Trekkies Trekkies T-R-E-K-K-I-S or is that Trekkies what is that I don't know Uh, they're both Trekkies (laughs) and Urban plays Bones in the J.J. Abrams reboot of Star Trek just thought I would let you all know. Keep up the good work. You guys rock. Seth. P.S. You should review Dread when it comes out and do a comparison. Interesting. Maybe we will. I Deal. don't know. Deal. I could watch hmm. another Judge Dread movie. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Very right, cool. Thank you, Seth. We appreciate that. You didn't really ask us a question there, but um, we appreciate your concern. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thanks for uh, pointing out the flaws. I don't know. Faults and uh, I don't know. Would you? I, 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 would you? Re- okay, Scott. Would you really consider the last Star Trek movie like you have to know everything about it if you're a Trekkie? Look, the first time I watched that movie, I was blinded by lens flare. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. Did know you that. like it though? I liked you it. Liked it. it was I awesome. liked. I liked it too. But I mean, I, I, don't know. I don't know why I keep thinking Carl Urban is like a, a basketball player for some reason. Yeah, it does kind of sound very basketball. Yeah. He was also in uh, Lord of the Rings too. Was he? Yeah. yeah he Who was, was he? He was in a uh, 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 extra. No, he was. He was, um, <laughs> was Boromir. I, I forget I the know. character's name, but yeah, he was. He, he played a pretty uh, big role in the. The second and third film. It was Bilbo. <laughs> he wasn't. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, was, thank you, Seth. <laughs> thank you for uh, clarifying that. Uh, we'll definitely go check it out. If you ever have any other... E- uh, turn this fucking music off. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you have any other emails or you would like to email us, please send it to youthroughpoo at me.com and uh, check out our website at themoviedump.com. We really should be saying that shit at the beginning of our podcast. We should. We should. Get it all out of the way. Yeah. Just get it out of the way. Let's just start doing that. Anyway. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, that's it. That's it. Go away. Oh, I do, have, <laughs> I do have one fun fact about the movie I'm bringing next time. Yeah. It's the first movie that we're going to be reviewing that is terrifying in the respect that it's public domain. Is it really? Yes, it is. Really? Wow. Yeah. It's public it's domain. It's a public domain movie. When was this film made? Uh, 77, I think. That's why. Yep. It's going to be really bad. It's going to be bad. Probably. <laughs> I haven't 
I know nothing other than the title, so. Oh, Scott, did you actually find a legitimate copy of this, or was it's one public just domain? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you yeah, the library. Right. Yeah. <laughs> public domain. Okay, I guess it's fine. All right, so um, until next week, where we watch Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter. Yeah. Um, until then, I am Ben. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm on Facebook. Uh, I'm what? Hi. We're doing. Oh, you're, 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 that's that's Nick. That's Nick. <laughs> okay. And I'm just sitting here. So yes, I'm Scott sitting <laughs> here. Enjoy your week and sorry about the shitty sound board. <laughs> um, All right, last one, last one. I got it. Music. What fuck. the <laughs> fuck is this? Oh, the magic's gone. You almost right. had it. You almost went all the way through. You just sort of like throwing the cards just down. Stop you should have just not. Somebody else play some music. No, let's just go out. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.